everyone and hello everyone and welcome. Um, this let me let me see this. <laughs> That's fine. That's the best I'm gonna get it. It's on a slight tilt, but uh, I'll just be on a tilt too. Whoa! Um, yeah, you can go. this took me half an hour to set up. Half an hour, thirty minutes. Um, it's a bit of a mess, but it will do. It's the best I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna draw, draw on this whiteboard. Um, I will get the exact wording, actually. God, I almost fell over and died. Uh, a tortoise devastated to find that a hare he had been wanting to marry cheats on him with a magpie. <sighs> okay, good. So, we have to get a magpie, a hare, and a tortoise. Um, then we have to have the tortoise with a devastated look and a magpie and hare having some premarital sex. So let's do that. Um, tortoises are generally green, so we'll draw some, uh, we'll draw a shell first. Here we go. I'll wait, I probably won't colour stuff in because I don't want to waste my markers, but he's a, he's a tortoise. He has a few legs. Whoa, that's one leg. That's two legs, and that one can go that way, and then that one can go that way. And then we've, he's got to have a uh, head poking out of a hole here, so we'll make a little hole here, because his head poked out of here. Um, he, he has an eye, and he, he looks completely devastated. So he's going to go, oh no, I'm going to cry a tear, I've got to get blue. Oh no. Oh, he's devastated because there's a magpie um, over here who's going to be black. Because magpies are generally white and black. So, um, uh, how are we going to do this? Um, that's not good. Get my, uh, Epic pen on. I'll turn the light too so you can actually see. Um, magpie. Magpies are generally like, there's one, and this one could be like that because the magpie is circle body, is um, <laughs> is pecking the hair, the hair. Uh, oh, I don't have grey or anything. Um, the hair's going to be pink, which is the colour he's most. So here's a... Oh, that's... Yeah, and then it's, it's legs. It's very stumpy legs. That's okay. And it, it's got to have rabbit ears, obviously. And he's in so much ecstasy, uh, that looks a bit odd if we won't have that. There we go, that's, that's his, um, anus. It's pecking its anus. Um, and this is a bit sad because this guy likes the magpie. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I want to do a speech bubble. Ah. Oh. Ye. Because I can't fit yeah. Um, and th this guy here, Mr. Tortoise, is, is saying, Oh. Nose. And Mr. Magpie is, Oh, shit. Um, because he's, you know, pecking an anus, so he probably has shit in his feet now. Um, uh, this, this is going, we're going to have a tree. Uh, how am I going to do this? A tree. Orange, because it's close to brown. Um, they are inside the, the tree, the house. Here we go. That's a house. This is a window. I've really got to learn to, uh, 
is the uh, thing. Um, oh, he's looking in. This is obviously a tree. Yeah, I'll put some. Oh. Uh, there's a lovely little pond out back. No, the, the, the tortoise came from the pond actually, so the pond's over here. Two ponds. Um, and this, the, the tortoise, I've dropped my orange marker, I'm getting marker on myself, look at my hand, it's got orange on it, oh dear. Um, the tortoise is looking through this window. How am I going to do a window? This is a window. He's looking in to see the, the fun happening. Um, oh, shit. I've just threw my pen down here. Well, oh, don't fall off. Oh, bloody hell. This is going extremely well. Um, oh dear. Yeah, you see this? So this is like, this is a, this is a, he looks more like a pig. This is a pig pen. Um, he's in, you know, he's got a lovely bunch of green stuff on top. Uh, this is the pond over here where the tortoise, there's a few ta there's a few fish. I was going to say tadpoles, but fish. No, the tortoises, tadpoles, they're tender tortoises, do they? Here's some fish, whoa, in the pond to, um, to rent that. This is a pond. I'm going to write pond. Okay, um, cool, and up here we're going to have a meteor come in the crash land and kill everyone. It's coming to kill them, but they don't notice it because they're too busy pecking each other and uh, the tortoise is very upset by that. Um, also, what else are we going to add? Uh, going to add some clouds. Going to add some lovely clouds. That's much darker than I thought it would be. Clouds. Whoa. It's a very beautiful day. Um, and down here is, um, what else can we have? What else, what else would you find in a scene involving a tortoise upset over a magpie and hare going at it? Um, the tortoise and the hare, of course. It was actually, it's a race. They're actually getting ready for the big race. It's a prequel to the tortoise and the hare. So, um, here's the starting line. With the checkered flag at that start. And uh, over here is the... Oh god, I almost tripped over my bed. Over here's the finish. But, um... There we go, and that's finish. And, uh, this, this... Here... Is the rock that the tortoise... That pen's always right out. Um, this is the rock where the tortoise... No, not the tortoise, the hare, even. the Because in the tortoise and the hare, the tortoise wins because the hare has a nap, and he has a nap on the rock. That's the rock the hare has a nap on. Um, and uh, basically, you know, they're going at it in there. And um, someone's coming at the door. Someone's, someone's coming to the front door. On the doorbell. Um, who could it be? Ding. Dong. No, Jenny. Ding dong. Um, who could it be, I, I wonders? Oh, look, look who it is. It's the elephant. Oh, he's got a very big trunk, like me. Um, and he has some legs on him, too. Very big legs. Thick, thick, juicy legs for us to eat. He has tusks as well. But he also has a, a lovely... Furrowed brow. Um, and he's, he's ding on in at the door because he wants to come find Magpie, but Magpie's, you know, pecking the anus of hair. Um, 
Now, what else do we need? Torso and the head. What else happens in the torso and the head? There's a lion or something, isn't there? And the lion is the judge of the race. Okay? So, we're going to have Miss Senior Lion down here. With his beautiful mane. And he says, Roar! Where is everyone? Question mark, exclamation mark, because he wants to get the race started. Of course, he only has one leg. He's a disabled lion. He actually has one leg, but uh, these are just stumps because they've been blown off in the the uh, war of the lions. Um, and the War of the Lions was a very bad time, and that's why he now needs uh, fake legs. They're very wobbly, because they're not very good legs. They were made by uh, the carpenter Cortis, who is the carpenter of the land. He makes all the carpets. Um, like the beautiful shag carpet that these guys have. Look at that lovely shag carpet. Mmm. He doesn't love a big shag like they're doing. They're having a good shag on the shag carpet. Um. What else? What else do we need to add? What else? I don't know. We got a start. We got a finish. We got a lion. We got an amputated lion. Oh, we did a cave. You know, like the the cave with the Greek guy, right? Because. He, you know, uh, Apostle was the guy who wrote, I can't remember his name, I'm sorry, I'll put it in post, I'll put a little, because I do lots of um, little things in the corner with yellow text that are like me editing and reinforcing stuff that I said wrong, because I usually say a lot of stuff wrong. Um, I can't remember his name, Apostle, Aesop, that's it, I knew it's of A, I don't know why I'm thinking Apostle. Um, yeah, no, uh, Aesop, Aesop's Fable. Um, even though he's not the Greek guy with the cave, I'm going to draw a cave over here, in, over, over here. And I'm going to put, I'm going to give the cave its own little sun. Not sun as in offspring, sun as in the, the light source that will explode and kill us all one day. Um, yeah, just some little sun, that's a neat little reference if you know what I'm talking about there. Um, so with the shag, basically everything here is, is, is a ba da ba ba da ba do ba 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 That was Russian, uh, if you don't know. If you're Russian, you'll know what I said there. Um, what else do we need? We got clouds, we got a meteor about to kill everyone, we got an elephant going ding dong. Um, what else? Oh, of course, we got to furnish his house, don't we? And in the hair house, you have lots of wigs, because who doesn't love a good wig? Um, he's a he's a red haired hair. Um, he has some wonderful wigs, which are very good. And this one's kind of an, like Bart Simpson hair, and this one's um. That's that I like to call the pecker, um, in reference to the, the act they're committing. Um, that, that's what it is, that's what pecking is. Um, I'll add that to Urban Dictionary, because that, that is a new term I've just come Unless pecking's actually already a thing, but uh, pecking is when you put on a bird beak and you uh, use it to pleasure the anus of a member of the human race. Please don't do it with any animals, or children, or anyone who isn't willing to commit the act of, act of pecking, because that's bad. Uh, what else? Is that it? I'm, I'm going to check the time, but I realise my phone is attached to a pole. I will actually, I will take it off and record this, because this is a mess. Um, I guess we need one more thing, right? I'll have a look. And of course, I'm sorry, um, no, we didn't actually have anything else to add, but I will sign it down here. With my signature I just made up on the spot. 
And also, we'll say in this corner, two scops with extra love winky face. This is a new outro song. I'm saying goodbye because the video has ended. Da, 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 da. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And come back and watch some more as they come online.